What's up everyone, debug.log here. I just want to be upfront and apologize for the lack of video content lately. YouTube, sadly, is not my daily career and sometimes gets put on the side burner. If you are only interested in the current development of the horror game I've been working on, please jump to the six minute mark. But I'd encourage you to stick around. Now with that said, it doesn't mean that I haven't created or worked on a few things in the last few months. Today I want to showcase to you all the things that I have been working on. Shortly after my last video was published, I was approached by a friend of mine on Discord who wanted to create a remake of a game called Tactics Arena Online. That conversation went a little like this. Sup man? I want to create a game I used to play called Tactics Arena Online. Have you heard of it? Honestly, no, but let's do it anyways. Sweet. And here's where we're at on this now. There's still plenty left to do. Animations, music, sound effects, and of course, bug fixing. But that's not all I've been working on. I was addicted to some dumb mobile game and thought to myself, can I recreate this? Kinda. I didn't finish it though, but it was a great learning experience. And most recently I've been learning some awesome stuff from another YouTuber. Sebastian Lagulog. Sorry Sebastian. Um, link down in the description below. And with his help, I dabbled in the world of creating my own meshes via code. Starting with his planet creation tutorials which is a great series by the way overall this was a humbling experience and really pushed me to learn a little bit more about mesh manipulation and strangely creating my own unity editor scripts more efficiently but my need to learn didn't stop there this is when i said i want to learn more about world generation i created a planet now I want to create an infinite world. I decided to embark on the 
Minecraft journey. And so far, it's going all right. It started out a bit rough and is still pretty damn rough, but it's been fun to learn. And that's the list of the little projects that I have been working on on the side. If you guys would like some more in-depth tutorials or information on any of those other games, feel free to let me know in the comments down below without further ado. Under the Pure Horror Game! Oh, we should add a special effect to that. Like, no! Under the Pure Horror Game! Sadly, there weren't a lot of big updates with the horror game. Um, there were some, it was very limited, and I'll just run through those quick.